Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering NFL Week 3, the Texans taking on the Steelers. Before we get right into that, I want to make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates each and every time we break down videos here at Sports Choice Plus. Without further ado, we're getting right into the action. Uh, coming into this football game, you see the Houston Texans limping into this game, and they are struggling, struggling, struggling. Um, they've had basically the worst set of opponents you can have to start your year off. You look at them starting off with the Chiefs and then starting off with the Ravens. That was the worst possible case of what they could have done to start their season. And they started out 0-2 like we thought they could have. Uh, but you look at the Steelers. The Steelers are coming into this game and they're proving that their veteran uh, heavy football team is going to do wonders and going to, you know, win the games that they need to win. Uh, they did win that game. You're looking at against the Broncos. They knocked the quarterback out for the Broncos, and that really changed uh, the climate of the football game for them to help them win that football game. You look at the Texans. They're struggling to run the football. They're struggling to pass the football. But Deshaun Watson, the bright spot is the Steelers defense gets a little easier than the teams that you faced the last couple of weeks. You look at the Chiefs the first week, they played outside of their mind on offense and defense. The uh, Ravens last week gave him a tough time with that pressure. I think you're going to get a little easier football game this week. The Pittsburgh Steelers, even though they're 2-0, they have not really faced a big test as of yet. The Houston Texans are going to be a test for them. You look at Bill O'Brien, he's going to have a chance to wipe the slate clean this week and basically start a season 0-0. Zero and zero. Um, because nobody expected him to win those first two games. Now it's more realistic expectations on what he can do. Deshaun Watson will have opportunities to make plays in this game. They just have to capitalize on those opportunities. You look at the defense for the Texans, you have to get after the quarterback. If Big Ben holds the football, if you do not know what the Pittsburgh Steelers do, they like those downfield bombs. They like to move the ball up and down the field, and Big Ben likes to hold on to the ball oftentimes too long, and then that puts him in trouble as far as getting hit, taking injuries, and doing things like that. So Juju Smith-Schuster is going to be huge for the Pittsburgh Steelers. You've seen him stepping up in the last couple of weeks, but you have to ask yourself, do the Pittsburgh Steelers have literally a number one running back? Uh, you know, look at Snell. You look at uh, just what he can do. You look at just, uh, you know, are they going to make a choice on who to start for that uh, running back position for the remainder of the year? That remains to be seen. But I'm picking the Houston Texans to win this football game. I think that they're going to get on the right track. I think that this is going to be a tough test for them. But I think they have enough on the offensive side of the ball and defensive side of the ball to get the job done. I think Deshaun Watson is going to get it done. And I'm picking the Texans to win this one in a low-scoring affair. Uh, are you Texans fans? Are you Steelers fans? Leave your comments in the comment section below. And as always, check us out on the YouTube channel. Make sure you're sharing that content in your Facebook group. Uh, and definitely, make sure you check out some of the older videos. Thank you so very much for your support. We'll see you soon.